I've done these types of videos in the past when going into an upcoming NBA season where I talk about one player on the roster for which this season is most critical for them as a player, the player that has the most riding on them, the most to prove, etc. And when I was thinking about which player this would be for the Bulls and going into the season, I was pretty stumped because when you actually think about it, there are a lot of players on this roster for which this season is going to be important for them. And while I'll touch on some of these guys that have a lot riding on them going into this season and what's at stake for them as a player, I did land on one player that I believe is going to have the most pressure, the most attention and focus going into the season, and I would love to hear if you guys agree or disagree. So what's going on everyone? You're listening to Bull Central here. Hope you're all doing well. It's pretty crazy that we have media day and training camp in just a few short weeks, followed by the preseason, which is also less than a month away, and the regular season just a little more than a month away. It's creeping up pretty fast, and as players start to arrive back in Chicago from their offseason to start training and practicing together, we've got to talk about all of our expectations and predictions before the season starts and I wanted to start with like I mentioned at the top of the video which player has the most riding on them going into the season and while I know most people are probably thinking I'm gonna say Zach Levine it's not this is absolutely an important season for Zach a season where he is trying to repair his reputation around the league and not being a winning player a season in which he can show to the rest of the league that he's still got it and worth a max contract and a player that is worth trading for as a piece to get you over the top and into contention and yes of course it's important to Zach because he wants to be traded the only way he's going to get traded is if he shows out well. But because Zach is a veteran at this point, he's already got his max contract. For me, when I'm looking at players where the season is so important for them, it's mainly younger players where you're talking about how this season can potentially be career defining. We already know who Zach is as a player. So then you look at the younger guys, and I'm sure the player that pops into everyone's head the most is Patrick Williams. Obviously, Pat is going to be going into his fifth season in the league. He's coming off another major injury. He hasn't shown that much improvement since his rookie season. He's 23 now, still young, still not in his prime yet, but this is the year for him to show up. This is the year where he really needs to have a breakout season. We keep saying no more excuses, that this is a new excuses year. DeMar is gone. The team is heading in a direction that is focused on the younger core. He's going to have more opportunity. He's going to get more exposure. And hey, you also just got paid. You got paid a fat $90 million contract. Time to show everyone that you're worth that deal. But given Pat just got his five-year contract, it's actually why I don't have him as the one player that this season is the most important for. Man already got paid, right? If he was going into a contract year and everything else still remained the same of what we know about Patrick Williams, yeah, it would be him. This would be the most important season for him on the Bulls roster. But getting that contract and also considering that there was one other player that has more riding on them in this upcoming season, it's why I don't have Patrick Williams here for the upcoming year. And yes, the season is going to be crucial for a lot of other guys as well. Kobe White, I mean, if Zach gets traded, which most are expecting that he will at some point this season, he's going to have the green light. He's going to be the Bulls' go-to option on offense. No DeMar, no Zach, he's going to be the primary scorer. And after the season he just had, where he exceeded expectations and already outplaying his contract, there's going to be more pressure on Kobe to replicate what we saw last season, if not getting even better. And don't forget, he's going to be extension eligible at the end of the season, and he's most certainly going to want to get paid given how he's grossly underpaid based on his production at this point. The same can be said for Adesumu. Same contract timeline as Kobe's, he's going to be extension eligible by the end of the year. A great year for Ayo last year, a bounce back year after the sophomore slump, but people are going to be expecting him to show up even more going into the season because we're now in a youth movement and we're going to be looking to these younger guys to show us some semblance of promise for the future. And yes, you could argue this season is important for Modest Buscellis as it is with all rookies who first enter the league and have so much to prove. For Buscellis, probably more so than most rookies just purely based on the fact that fans are hyping him up a bit given he's from Chicago. He's the Bulls' first lottery pick since Patrick Williams and the first pick in this new era era of Bulls basketball, but Modest is young, still has a lot of years left ahead of him to prove his worth and get experience under his belt. For me personally, I'm not expecting that much of Modest Buzelis this season. I just want him to go out there, learn, play hard, soak up everything he can in his rookie season in a year where the Bulls aren't going to be competing for anything. That's what I want to see from Modest. But no, at the end of the day, this season is going to be the most important for Josh Giddy. And it's for a number of reasons. First and foremost, playing for a new team, a new environment, a new direction where he goes from being on a contender to a rebuilding situation, traded by the team that drafted him sixth overall in the 2021 draft. So coming into the season, he already has a chip on his shoulder for being counted out by his team so early in his career when it looked like he was going to be a part of that Thunder young core for a long time. 
Two, you're also talking about a situation in which he's trying to repair his image both on and off the court for that matter. He had a down year, and it was capped off by being left out of the rotation in the playoff series against the Mavs where the Thunder were eliminated in the second round. People were saying he sucks, he's overrated, just puts up good numbers on a bad team, can't shoot, can't defend, isn't athletic enough. He's been getting it from all angles since last season. On top of all that, he's playing in a contract year. He's in the final year of his rookie scale deal. He's currently eligible for an extension if it's reached before the start of the season, which I don't think is going to happen. So he's playing for a contract and playing in a contract year where you're trying to repair your reputation to show that the Thunder messed up and letting him go after one down year is going to be on top of Giddy's mind all season. But the reason this season is actually going to be so critical for Josh Giddy, in addition to all the things I just mentioned, is because he has the pressure of the Bulls as an organization investing so much into this guy. And I know some of you are probably like, well, it wasn't that much. They only traded Alex Caruso to get him. Well, first of all, trading Caruso was a lot. He was the biggest trade asset on the market going into this offseason where the Bulls had offers in the past of multiple first rounders for AC. They used that trade chip to get Josh Giddy and Josh Giddy only. They wanted Giddy. They're viewing him as the piece for the future, their point guard, playmaker, facilitator for the future. And they're going to pay him, probably overpay him because he's going to put up big numbers this season. Giddy knows that going into this year. So regardless of the fact that this season might be a wash in terms of the Bulls trying to win and competing for anything, so there won't be pressure on Giddy from that standpoint, but there will be pressure in the sense that he's going to prove or have to prove to the Bulls and their fans that he was worth the trade for Alex Caruso and only Alex Caruso, not getting any picks back in the deal and that he's worth a big payday by the end of the season and that he's also the piece that you build with for the future that is the playmaker and floor general the Bulls have been so desperate for all these years. A lot is going to be riding on Josh Giddy, not only for himself as a player and securing that next contract, but also repairing his image as a player, but also for the Bulls who were laser focused on getting this guy as their point guard for the future, the Lonzo Ball replacement, if you will. I would love to hear what you guys think, though. Who do you think this season is going to be the most critical for on the Chicago Bulls roster? Let me know in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.